So tell me about your, your involvement with Children with Cancer then. So funnily enough, I actually worked there eight years ago. Um, it was probably the first charity that I ever worked for uh, when I was fresh faced and out of university. Um, and yeah, I worked there for about a year and then sort of went on to different into different charities to get a bit more experience in the charity sector. And then, yeah, fast forward, you know, eight years or so, um, a, a job came up in their community fundraising team and I had that experience and I loved I like loved working for them. When I did previously, I'm really passionate about the cause. I've always worked for uh, cancer charities. So, yeah, I sort of jumped at the chance to, to go for that role, really. And do you get out and travel with it? Is it would, would you normally be travelling? Normally, yes. Normally I'd be, so you mentioned, obviously, you're, you're pretty busy on weekends. We are too. So we would have a lot of um, events that we'd be attending, giving kind of like speeches about the, the charity, telling people where their money is exactly going to. You know what they're fundraising for um and yeah all of that stuff really so it, it is a bit i've had a few events um last year which is nice it was, it was so lovely to get out and meet people be it socially distanced <laughs> um yeah because i think most people like myself who, who are attracted to community fundraising jobs we're, we're people pe people people so we like to obviously um I don't know about the people, but I get energy from talking to other people. So I think it's been a hard year just sitting at home in front of your computer and not really having the same kind of face to face interaction. Seems like such a long time ago, doesn't it, that we were free to go and do this stuff. Yeah. Free, exactly. Free is the word there. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be so appreciative, though, aren't we, of when it comes back? I mean, are you a runner? Do you actually get out and do them yourself? No, <laughs> no, no. So I say I'm not a runner. No, I am. Um, but I'm really interested in actually like the psychology behind people wanting to run. Like, I I think it's I, I talk to a lot of our fundraisers and I always ask them, how did you get into running? Why why do you enjoy running so much? Just because I I have no I can't comp comprehend. You know, you mentioned earlier you just decided you wanted to run like you wanted to run the marathon. I've never ever come to that thought process myself. Um, I've you know the strange thing is, I, I decided I was going to run that, and then when I'd run it, it was, I mean, I'd, I'd no idea what the training was all about. Never done any exercise in my life. I, uh, uh, I got, I remember getting to the last nine miles, thinking I was really going to die. You know, it was the worst experience of my life. But then, You're not it to me, no, no, exactly. And this is the strange thing about running is that. I then take a year off and they start a park run just up the road. And a friend of mine said, why don't we go to the first one? And um, the camaraderie at that thing, the, the social aspect of it, the, the, the charity runners that you meet, you meet the elite runners, you meet people that inspire you, you meet people that are, uh, have never, never exercised in their life and they're 60 years old and they, they, you know, and everybody is welcome and nobody is last. You know, it's that sort of mentality. Is that true of the fundraisers that you come across? Um, we had a lady recently who, um, her name's Nikki Love, um, and she ran uh, pretty much a marathon every day on a treadmill in her garden for over, over a month or so more. Um, and she was actually trying to, um, so what she wanted to do is she wanted to run from Perth to Sydney in Australia. Um, and she'd been gearing up for this challenge for over several years now. And then obviously she couldn't book the flights because of COVID. Um, and that didn't stop her. And she just thought, I'm just going to set this up and do the same amount of miles on a treadmill in my garden. And she, yeah, she like she didn't, um, sadly, she didn't end up completing the challenge because she um, sustained an injury. Because I think running on a treadmill for that amount of period is so it can be really so, like, yeah. damaging yeah, yeah exactly. it's, it's, it's yeah it's damaging to your body but she did an incredible job like um and i she lives really locally to me so i luckily was able to go and see her quite a bit and i was asking her loads of questions about her. i was like what motivates you to do this why you know why are you doing this because she didn't have a direct link to the cause either but she felt um she felt really lucky in her life and you know, she wanted to help other people, um, you know, that that are in that awful situation. Um, but she was just incredible. And she was saying that she got into running when she was younger. And for her, it's it's more about like 
how can she do better? How can she challenge herself? How can she beat what she's already done? Yeah. Um, and I, I wondered with Richard if that was sort of similar. So he he will do he'll go on to do the challenge, no doubt about it, because he's so mm. he obviously he's very determined. Oh, yeah, exactly. I think what we have to be careful here as well, isn't it? When when people are watching this, is it's not just about these people that do things that are so beyond our comprehension. Uh, yeah. you know, everybody has their Mount Everest, and if their mm. Mount Everest is going to park run and achieving their first three mile, might even mm. be a walk, yeah. you know. That's that's charity worthy, isn't it? It's Absolutely. it's worthy of everybody getting involved, and it means that you've yeah. stepped one step higher than where you were, and you've gone further. And they're the people yeah. that inspire me. You know, I, I've made so many films about people that have, you know, maybe had their children and always been dedicated to them and done nothing for themselves, and then they step into a running group and off they go, and their yeah. journey is, you know, tearful. It's uh, you know they get together with great friends it's social and all that sort of stuff so definitely and not, like, not even like kind of veering away from running as well like we you know we have people who they've they've never climbed they've ne maybe never done like the mount Snowden climb and they do that for the first time and they're not big walkers and they achieve that and it's i i love that element of my job as well sort of seeing those people achieve that real personal goal as well as fundraising goal as well and you know even if they don't it's not necessarily all about raising money either for the charity it's it's about raising that awareness and that's the really wonderful thing as well that rich is doing in, in doing such an incredible you know like out there challenge he's raising awareness for our charity in a really fantastic way